Hey there everyone, what is going on? Thank you so much to the warm welcome of Front Porch Pickin'. And uh, we're just going to keep going with it. So I got another G major lick here for you. I'm coming to you to ask if I would please do a couple more uh, licks in the key of G. And uh, yeah, I, I totally will. And I'm, this one's going to be kind of, um, I'll line some chords a little bit. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll just get to the lick then. And um, I'm going to fight through all these cars popping up. But thank you guys for tuning in. It's a beautiful, beautiful day here in July. And in Ohio, you can see all the, the green here. And let's go ahead and get to the lick. Okay, so here is the lick. Now, if you guys want tabs for it, they are over on my website. If you want the printable PDF version, uh, the cars are driving me crazy today. But here is the lick we're working with, and I'm going to break it down for you. So here we go. <laughs> So what's happening here? Now it's all G major, um, and basically I'm, I'm kind of cheating almost. I'm kind of outlining the chords that I would be playing. So I'd probably use this over a chord progression that maybe would go, you know, like a G, and maybe go like A7 to a D, and uh, and so on. But what I'm starting here is just literally straight out of our scale, and I'm going like. So it's five, three, five, seven on the high E. Then I go back to five, back to three. So, so we have that, we have a car right there. And then I go to the B string and I play five to three. Now here's what I'm talking about when I'm outlining that chord. So I go like this. That's literally just that G major chord. Um, so what I'm playing here is I'm playing 5 on the D, 4 on the G, 3 on the B. So that's the first part. Then I go like this, and this is kind of out of our G major pentatonic shape now. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play uh, 4 on the G, then 3, 5 on the B, and 3 on the high E. So we have... And this whole thing really has a swing kind of feel to it. Another car. Um, and you really just have to kind of get into that groove of it. If you just play it real stocky and kind of like, uh, I, don't know, I don't know, just stiff. It really doesn't have the same vibe. We're doing. It has kind of like a, a jazzy swing to it almost. So we've made it here so far. Then the next thing I could do is I come up here to uh, basically just this. It's like a C chord, but it's a G major, you know, your cage system. So what I'm doing here is I go 9 slid up to 10 twice. So. So then I go, so 9 slid up to 10 twice, and I go 9, 8, 7, little chromatic passage. Then I go to 8 on the B, uh, 7 on the G. Then I go to 9 on the D. And then seven eight on the B. So actually, you know, I might do a little bit different. The tabs, I, I can't remember what I did in the very first lick. Either I went, either I went seven eight on the, or sorry eight seven on the B, or I went eight on the B and seven on the G. I can't remember. The tabs will be correct. <laughs> Um, and that's basically it. It's just like outlining the little G major again. Really simple lick. Uh, I think the more, most difficult part of it is the swing and feel to it, uh, which is a nice little mix-up from what we're used to. I'm almost positive I did that. I went 8-7 on the B. And, uh, you know, just have fun with it. You know, like I said, kinda, you can have your chord progression.
everyone. That is going to wrap it up for today. Thank you for checking out this video. I really appreciate it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it and had fun with it. These are these are actually really fun for me to come out here and shoot and annoy the neighbors. I'm sure they all are just like, what's this guy doing talking to a camera? <laughs> so, anyways, I will see you guys next time. Like, share, subscribe, and I will see you later. Oh, guitar high five. That might break the camera. It's like...